Hello everyone and welcome back to Black Clover Manga Chapter 333 The World Saver and Its Flaw And this chapter, this whole chapter actually goes the way I thought it would that I said last video But it opens up with uh, I think it's Lucius, his thoughts about how him and Julius were born two souls in one body and how, and how they were bound to the supreme devil, Osteroth. And we actually officially get the name. I'm not sure if they said it before. And then we get the conversation of, between him and, and Lucy and Julius. Sorry, getting their names all mixed up. Because Julius doesn't want this, but Lucius is going to just carry on through it. But it is a two souls in one body situation again, like with William. And... Um, I just gotta say, it makes sense now why Julius went so easy on William, because I've always wondered why he just let him stay a, a captain, and now it makes sense, because he understands his situation. And um, I thought Austin was going to get very emotional over this big revelation, but I, I guess a part of me forgot that Austin sends his key, so of course, as soon as Austin sees him, he realizes it's not Julius, because he can sense it's a different entity so Asta didn't have too much of a revelation but then uh, Lucius completely freezes out the whole space that they're in even everyone around them too and then Asta's uh, devil form activates as he tries to get close and if you guys see Asta's like base devil form is already looks stronger than it used to be because now his hair is completely black he has the four horns and two wings in his normal devil state, so obviously Asta got a lot stronger, and Libe's still on his, his shoulder as well, so they're not completely even doing their union. So, I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see how far he's uh, got. And also, uh, Lucius says that he's absorbed Lucifero, so he's even stronger than he was before. I don't know, we'll see how that plays out. We'll see if he actually has gravity magic too. And uh, Lu Lucius goes on to reveal his Grandmaster plan. Pretty much he's going to pretty much kill all the humans and then recreate them all with magic that's equal. And he's going to be the ruler over them. But the thing that is very interesting is that Lucius sees everything. So he knows how everything's going to play out. But the one thing he did foresee was Asta. And that Asta wasn't supposed to have anti-magic. Like this wasn't supposed to be a thing. Which I think it's really, it's really crazy to think that. He didn't see this coming. So Asta is definitely going to be the key part in this next fight. And Asta actually uh, dispels the time magic. So I'm not sure how this fight's going to go because Asta clearly can destroy magic that has area effects. And then Asta pulls out, actually, actually goes straight into dual wielding with them. Um, with the katana as well as the, um, I think it's the demon destroyer that he's using too. And then he declares that he'll surpass the wizard king right here. So obviously they're going to throw down in the next chapter. But of course, uh, Shonen Jump's going on break so it's going to be two weeks before. But yeah, this chapter played out exactly how I thought. It's interesting to see that Asta is a lot stronger now. It looks like both his arms are even black now but uh, we'll see how this whole thing plays out I actually had no predictions for this next chapter for how the next one will go I do kind of like the setup I do wish that Lucius and Julius were one entity instead of being two I liked the, I liked thinking that Julius betrayed everyone but I guess he technically did it but we'll see how this plays out next chapter we'll, next chapter will really let us know how high the stakes are going to be. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this chapter. I enjoyed it for what it was. I definitely liked last week's chapter a lot more than this one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.